In this video, we will show you the installation of the new flat plate collectors Solar 7000 FT from Bosch. The collectors are equipped with a lightweight, high-performance aluminium full-service absorber with a PVD coating. The sturdy fiberglass casing reduces the weight even further. Installation can be done in a few simple steps using an Allen key and our plug-in connectors. See for yourself. Please read the safety information and installation instructions carefully and observe the safety regulations that are necessary when working on roofs. In this film, on-roof installation will be demonstrated with rafters, bracing, socking membrane and the finishing with roof tiles. Installation requires only a few easy to install elements. The roof hook, the profile rails, the anti-slip protector, as well as the connection set and mounting hardware. The first step is to measure out the roof. Please pay careful attention to necessary minimum clearance around the collectors. The positions of the fixing points are flexible and are primarily determined by the spacing of the roof tiles. Before installation, be sure to check the load-bearing capacity of the roof. Special attention must be paid to the condition of the roof battens around the fixing points. The next step is to prepare the installation material. Simply turn around the lower segment of the roof hook to prepare it for hanging. If you want to screw the hook onto a roof batten, you must install the lower segment facing the other way round. The profile rails can be clicked together easily using the plug-in connectors. Now you can also install the anti-slip protector. Once you have everything prepared, you're ready for final installation. All it takes is a few simple steps. First, you have to hang the roof hooks onto a roof batten. Push the lower segment up so that the hook is firmly connected to the batten. Then tighten the hex nut. When tightening, make sure that the washer is seated correctly and that the grooves of the upper and lower segments are properly interconnected. And that's it. No further fixings are required. Scribe the position of the mounting brackets before removing the tiles and then notch the tiles before reinstalling them. Then the tiles can fit flush and the roof is protected from leaks. Now the profile rails must be installed. Loosely connect the upper and lower profile rails onto the roof hooks and adjust them so that they are parallel. The angle must be 90 degrees. Then the profile rails are mounted properly and can be tightened down all the way. Then attach the right-hand side collector fasteners onto the profile. So, that was it. You are now ready to install the collectors. You'll find all the parts needed to connect the collectors stored in the protective packaging. Make sure that the sensor lead-through for collector sensor is at the top. Now the position of the hydraulic connections has to be determined. The return must be at the bottom, the flow at the top. Attach a corrugated pipe connector to each of the hydraulic connections and secure it with a screw clip. Bring the right collector up onto the roof, place it on the profile rails and allow it to carefully glide down into the anti-slip protector. The collector can only bear load after it has been correctly connected with all the collector fasteners. Carefully slide the collector towards the collector fastener, connect it and tighten it securely. Then install the dual-sided middle collector bracket into the profile and push it in towards the collector, but do not tighten it yet. Bring the left-hand collector up onto the roof, place it onto the profile rails and allow it to carefully glide down into the anti-slip protector. Now slide the left collector over to the right collector. Carefully connect the previously installed corrugated pipe connector with the left-hand collector. When you look at the dual-sided collector bracket in the middle, you will see four slots. Only when all four slots show green 
have you pushed the collectors together correctly. The collector fasteners can now be securely tightened. Then make sure to secure the pipe connectors with screw clips and insulate the connections with ultraviolet resistant insulation. Now install and securely fasten the left-hand side collector fasteners. To complete the installation process, seal the unused hydraulic connectors with a cap and secure them with a screw clip. The collectors are now mounted securely and the installation is complete. All that's left now is to connect the hydraulic system. Remove a single roof tile next to the upper right-hand corner of the collector array. Make a trapezoid cut into the socking membrane and replace the normal tile with a roof outlet. Repeat the same procedure for the lower right-hand corner. Connect the pipes to the flow in the upper right-hand corner and to the return in the lower right-hand corner, securing each of them with screw clips. Finally, the sensor has to be installed. Simply insert it into the sensor opening on the collector. Slide it in for about 25 centimeters until it hits the catch. When you're done, please double check all pipe connections and fasteners to be on the safe side. That's all the roof work required. The unit can now be connected inside the house. Once the house connections are completed, you should carry out a pressure test before removing the scaffolding. As you have seen, installation can be carried out in a few simple steps, and our lightweight collectors make it even easier. Bosch, invented for life.